When I was a student in architecture school, I got a $2,500 prize, which was a lot of money in 1965. So I spent a whole academic year in Europe on my own. Well, that's really where I got the taste for doing the figure. I was contacted by an art consultant who worked for the State Department here in Washington. She wanted me to enter this competition for the airport. They wanted something that reflected the history of Charlotte. And she said, you got to enter. What you do is what they want. I looked for inspiration from the model. If she was going to be gesturing, what would she be holding? And the crown just seemed like a good high point. I've always been interested in classical structure with some kind of compositional intelligence behind the scenes. The Greeks had the idea that the future came at you from behind, whereas today we think, oh yeah, the future's out in front, we can see it. I thought I could adapt that to this pose that signifies motion or being held up by the wind <laughs> at her back. I mean, the hard part about doing Queen Charlotte was to make it unstable, but not off balance. This pose was particularly difficult. I had to rig up the model using ropes from the ceiling to get the right lean on the pose, and then photograph every possible angle. Once I got the pose nailed down and was able to start modeling at about this scale, you know, I could bring the model back to really work out the face and the gesture in the 18th century drapery and then had that enlarged and cast in bronze, 16 feet tall. It has been 35 years or so since I did that. Now you can scan anything at any size and get a maquette this big. In the original installation of the Queen Charlotte, you're too far away to interact with it physically. The second version would give you a close-up view on three levels. It's like bit of a surprise and you see the whole thing. You know, after World War II when abstract expressionism became the mode, figurative was looked upon as old-fashioned, but now it's making a comeback. You know, when you're not with the zeitgeist, you're invisible. At this point, I've passed through invisible <laughs> to being more visible. I'm glad it's happening in my lifetime. <laughs>